Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. You've just stumbled upon the channel that holds hundreds of videos about this world's countries and states. If you're new here, I urge you to subscribe. There's no shortage of content, I promise. Jharkhand is a state in eastern India that came into existence in the year 2000. Prior to that year, the 18 districts that form the state were part of neighboring Bihar. It's a primary rural state where 76% of the population lives in villages. Thus agriculture plays an important role in the local economy, but not as important as mining as the state is very abundant in natural resources. The lands of Jharkhand were a hotspot of rebellious acts against British rule. One of the primary figure of the resistance movement was Birsa Munda, a tribal freedom fighter known to this day. He rebelled against the colonial authorities because he and his people were rapidly losing their land in favor of outsider peasants brought in to maximize production. Birsa was eventually caught and while jailed, he supposedly died of cholera, even though he never showed the symptoms of the disease. Though he lived for a very short span of 25 years, he aroused the mindset of the tribals and mobilized them and was a terror to the British rulers. One of the most interesting and beautiful places in Jharkhand is Shigarji. This is the most important pilgrimage site for Jain followers. The temples of Shigarji are located right on top of Parasnath Hill, the state's highest mountain. It is here that Jain followers believe that 20 of their 24 saviors or Tirtankaras managed to achieve the moksha. Moksha refers to the liberation of the soul from the endless cycle of death and rebirth, a state of blissful existence, free of the karmic bonds that keep it in our temporal world. That doesn't sound too bad, if I'm honest. The capital of Jharkhand is the city of Ranchi. It's one of the state's main industrial centers and is one of the highest employment generating cities in India. Jharkhand also has a sub-capital city, Dumka, a much smaller and greener city in the east. There is no doubt that Jharkhand is an immensely resource-rich state, so you'd think that this really helps out the economy. Wrong! Jharkhand actually suffers from the so-called resource curse, a paradox where the more natural resources you have, the less development and economic growth you have. But just how extreme is the situation in Jharkhand? Well, about 40% of India's mineral resources come from this state. But the people don't really benefit from this situation. Over 39% of the population is below the poverty line, while 20% of small children are malnourished. Jharkhand has been at the center of the Naxalite Maoist insurgency. The Naxalite Maoist insurgency is an ongoing conflict between Maoist groups known as Naxalites and the Indian government. Over the years, this insurgency has claimed the lives of over 14,000 people. The communist movement does have its supporters in Jharkhand, primarily due to the harsh economic situation in the state. As the federal government holds a monopoly on subsurface resources in this state, the local population is prevented from staking any claim on the resources extracted from their land. This creates a lot of frustration and plenty of new recruits for the insurgency. And for now at least, there's no end in sight for this conflict. I know the picture I painted about Jharkhand isn't that pretty, and life here is hard. But as always, the people do manage to survive and enjoy life. Almost 37 million people call Jharkhand their home. And these people are very diverse. While Hindi is the official language, there are dozens of other spoken languages here, and not one holds a majority. Most people adhere to Hinduism, but a large percentage of them are also Muslim or Christian. And over 4.5 million people still worship nature, 
belonging to a collection of ancient religions called Sarnaism. These were 7 facts about Jharkhand. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.